Hey guys, welcome to our new home on wheels. We are about to be moving into this for full-time RVing. And before we move all of our stuff in and kind of rearrange some of the layout, we wanted to give you a tour of our 2020 Transcend Explorer 247BH. Let's go. So let's start with what you see first, the kitchen. So we both love to cook and we both love to cook together. So having enough space to move around in the kitchen was big for us, especially with counter space. So one person could be prepping over here while the other person is maybe doing dishes or cooking on the stove top. And then we'd also like to expand the counter space even more with a pop up install for a little bit more. And that could double as a workstation during the day. Let's get started. We have the kitchen stove top and the oven three burners this is running off of propane you have your little mini oven and then another really great thing that grand design does is they maximize all of this space most of the rvs you see this part over the microwave is completely shut off and kind of useless whereas the grand designs have opened it up and that's plenty of room for my teas my thermoses have all of these extra cabinets for food plates what have you again lots of counter space nice stainless steel faucet and a fairly large single bucket sink the previous owners did have this cutting board specifically cut for the sink which is a nice addition um, we are the second owners to this which cut the price for us about in half and honestly, they kept it in the garage and kept it super clean and it feels pretty brand new to us. So I think that was a good decision. Moving on, we have this wonderful under the sink area for all your spices and hot sauces. We have a nice area for our trash bin, which is nice tucked and hidden. I really liked that. And then another really, really deep cabinet for more food, more cookware cleaning supplies. Underneath the oven, you have this massive drawer for all of your pots and pans, which is plenty of room. Underneath the fridge, we have this super deep cabinet, which I currently have a very large walk-in, a pot, and I'm probably gonna get myself an Instapot, and I would expect it to fit in there with more room to spare, which is great. And if you have pets, we don't have any yet. I say yet. <laughs> But this is a perfect little drawer for a uh, puppy water and food cabinet for a little dog. Just saying. And then we also have our fridge and our freezer. It does run off of propane and AC. So if you have shore power, you don't have to burn your propane, which is nice. And then they do lock for going down the road. Moving on to our living space, which is where we'll be spending a majority of our time. And we have a, I think it's called a jackknife sofa. It does this really weird, turns into a bed and it's about what you would expect for a couch bed combo. Kind of comfortable as a couch, kind of comfortable as a bed. One thing about the 24-7 BH that we really enjoyed is all of the storage. We have tons of under couch storage, which goes all the way to the end. And both of these open up fully. One thing I'm not the biggest fan of so far is that the entrance to the storage is smaller than the actual like volume under here and you can't access it from the top. So you have a, like a little bit of wasted space or you can put stuff in there and then stack it on top but you have about five inches above this wooden panel which is a little weird then we have all of this above couch storage which is a ton of storage for this side of the trailer we have our dinette and our two booths so i've actually been working here for about a week now and it's plenty of room for at least one person to work full time we need to figure out another computer desk situation but we'll figure that out later on both of the booths do have storage underneath of them which is really great when we went to purchase it though this one has a lot more storage than this one um, as you would expect it has the full storage underneath the booth but this one has where you fill up your water tank. It has that contraption inside the booth, so you kind of lose about half your storage in one of them, which is a little bit of a bummer. Moving on, we have the bunkhouse, 
which is great if you have a couple small kids. Maybe one adult can fit into either of them. And then you have two windows out back to open up, which is really nice. This one does not have the bike storage underneath the bunks. However, we're gonna convert it into bike storage. Uh, we'll probably end up removing this entire bunkhouse and convert it into mountain bike storage, gear storage, and maybe a little workstation. Still kind of researching and developing that. We have a fairly spacious bathroom. The trailer is currently winterized, so we haven't filled it up and got rid of the antifreeze just yet, but plenty of space for me. I'm 5'8", and this still is plenty of height for me. Daniel's about six feet, but we do have an extra skylight, which gives you a little bit more headroom, which is really nice when you're actually gonna be showering in this thing. And then we have some above sink vanity storage, and then some below sink storage for maybe a mini trash can and some extra supplies, which is nice. The previous owner added some hooks and a towel holder, but I think we'll probably add a couple more towel drying racks. Another really awesome thing that Gray Design does is that they have these kind of to the side of the shower storage areas, which is really deep and good for maybe toilet paper, paper towels, regular towels, more bathroom supplies, and whatever your mind can figure out. Almost forgot about the entertainment center. We have two more kind of shallow cabinets, and this one is half taken up by the radio stereo system. And then we have two speakers up here, and I believe there's one speaker in the bedroom. Let me check real quick. No speaker in the bedroom, just kidding. There are two speakers in here, um, and then there's two speakers outside, although we haven't used those just yet. We have two drawers, which is plenty of space for silverware and whatever you need to throw in there, as well as eight shoe slots. Um, if you're like us and do a lot of sports and have tons of shoes or even kids who may be staying in the bunkhouse, shoe storage is great. Now let's go check out the bedroom. This model actually has a full size queen. By full size, I mean a 60 by 80 inch bed. The previous owners upgraded the mattress, so we don't have to worry about doing that. I'm very thankful because it's very comfortable. We each get our own wardrobe. For us, it was super important living in this full time that we could both get out of the bed. We could have our own place to hang our clothes, have our own little nooks. We each get two outlets. We do have some pretty big under bed storage. The hydraulics somewhat help, but with the upgraded heavier mattress, getting underneath the bed is a little bit more difficult. So that'll be long-term storage stuff in there. As you can see, it's super easy for me to get past the bed, which is really nice. A lot of the other ones are really cramped, and this is lovely. And then we also have our own TV in here, which is nice. It's wall-mounted and can move around, so we can be lazy and watch TV from bed. Now that we're done in the bedroom, let's go over a couple of the essentials here. We have the command center or electrical center. This controls your internal and exterior lights, your water pump, gas, electric. And then the previous owners also installed the Limit auto leveling system, which I must say has been really nice to have. You don't typically see this on such a small rig. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by our trailer tour. Be sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions about it. We spent the last couple of months changing absolutely everything we just showed you. So make sure to follow along for lots of RV renovation videos and to see exactly what we did to make this rig our perfect time on wheels. And if you want a little sneak peek, check out the green on the cabinets.